Alright Luke, flight number one, here we go. But I'm not tired yet. But I'm not tired yet. Well listen, your day's gonna be pretty short and you're gonna need to sleep, so. <laughs> We're ahead of the era. Let's go. Honestly, it's easier to go to Japan if you just stay up really late, like in preparation for it. should've gotten up really early. I know. I was getting a little bit of anxiety before traveling internationally. I'm not really even sure why, because I've done it a lot. I know. But like right before I leave our house, well, we were a little nervous because our buddy's staying at our house while we're gone. And so we just wanted to make sure it was clean. And I get anxiety about that. And I'm not going to be there to apologize for the fact that the house is not perfectly clean. It's clean it's been a year. Probably. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so Because he's going. Because he's going. <laughs> but I'm anxious about that. And then I was anxious about getting that dance filmed. And we did that, thank God. What are you doing? Nah, Deadpool was just delivered. But we need to leave for the airport in 45 minutes. Nah. Secure. Double on the left. And we have 10 minutes. I and then left something out or something because we were rushing to film that. I know. Dinner time in Newark. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Singapore street noodles. Yeah. Did you not talk? Singapore street noodles. <laughs> Luke slept like most of that flight. Paul did not. I think we were next to each other. It would have been easier to sleep. I would yeah. the worst seat in the plane. It's the middle seat. The only actual middle seat. Because there's two yes. on each side and then three in the middle. Which honestly, middle. like, it was fine. It was fine. I just, like, I'm almost so nervous of, like, being in someone else's space that I was, like, also the, the like, forever and impending doom of being like I'm gonna have to pee and everyone's asleep you know? I know yeah, yeah. And I literally have like I literally never went to the restroom I, I didn't either that. well I didn't I didn't need to, to I guess either but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like I got on the plane and I just got to that and I'm like okay I'm gonna be set and then I'm like oh no do I have to pee and you get like the, <laughs> yeah it kind of nervous, nervous yeah, yeah. <laughs> like oh no <laughs> and then I was like oh no just relax you're fine everything's fine and then I like fell asleep, but I just woke up and I was getting out the plane. I was like, Did you oh. eat any meal? I ate the dinner meal, which is like yeah. 3 a.m. our time. And I was like, right. This is, feels weird. I know. But, but did um, you get the chicken? No, I got the pasta. Wait, how was that? It was really good. The chicken was so good. Yeah. The lemon chicken it was oh, so good. I mean, it was sure, right? some curry. The, the brownie was my favorite part. Same. You know? I, wanted that's another, all I wanted another one of those. That's brownies. all I wanted was sweets. <laughs> Well, I actually don't know what today's agenda is at all. We don't. We're, we're like kind of. Friends. You're gonna. You're gonna figure it out with us. We're meeting up with our, with our new friend Tez, who we're teaching dance camps with, and he's gonna pick us up. So we're gonna. We're not teaching dance camps for like three days. Yeah, for we're just like hanging out here for three days. Three days. There was a. We were supposed to teach a couple more, than what ended up happening because something got canceled. Something got canceled. So, um, we're gonna have a little lighter itinerary than we initially thought. Which, Maybe this vlog will just be London. Yeah, you know, the yeah. First little bit, you know? Yeah, a little London vlog. Yeah. Let's figure it out, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We made it. <clears throat> that way? Let's go. We made it. Well, we made it to the car park. Now we've got to go to the hotel. Tess was saying it's been torrentially downpouring the last couple days, but not today. We got some sun today. I know. The weather welcomed us in. It did. No, oh my six <laughs> people. <laughs> Alright, this is tiny. This is tiny. Oh, this is a No, this is this is me, right? Yeah, that's you. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, yes. Alrighty, <laughs> we'll meet you downstairs in just a minute. This I'm so excited. I am so excited. The streets look like everything I've ever seen in a movie. I'm just very excited to walk around. I'm a little overwhelmed because there's just a lot to see that like is iconic. We have all day tomorrow, and Tez is 
He's got a. He's got the. He's itinerary. Got he's got the hookup. Yeah, so we're. I think I'm on four. This is me. Yeah, it's you, man. Alrighty, hey, film in your room when you get there. Right, okay. Room tour. Okay. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Okay, check this out. So nice. Oh, back up. Nice little desk. Bed. I saw church. It's just so quaint and cute. And it kind of reminds me of a Japanese when we were in Japan. It's like, oh, let's go. Cool. Okay, let's look at the bathroom. Whoa. Okay, model. It's like so cute. All right. Not mad about that. Okay, Paul, here's my room tour. It's so cute. It's the bathroom. Nice shower. Little toilet, sink, solid. It's a little dressing here. Just enough space for my suitcase, a little desk, and a full bed with a beautiful view. So cool. I am filming so much B-roll because I just feel like I'm in Harry Potter. Sorry, not sorry for all the B-roll of the cool houses. The architecture here is like so cool. It just makes me think I'm in like Universal Studios or something, which I know that this came first and that was like, I just love it. I love it all. Yo. Yo. Let's go. I got a falafel wrap. The uh, uh, beef sausage. My queen. Look at her. Oh, no. She really said like this. I'm not dressed for the theater, but you know what? When I'm on vacation, this looks like the color scheme of the wizard we we Weasley's Wizard Weezes. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. I love sparkling water, <laughs> love it. But I do need, still, Star Fire said, if you're feeling peckish, ice cream will be served in the lobby <laughs> during interval. Interval, not intermission. I love all the different words. I was about to say weird words. It's not weird, it's just different words. Yeah, I love it. The boot, the, the bin. <laughs> sparkling versus still water. <laughs> That's not weird. <laughs> I love a spontaneous trip to the theater. You just said that. I just stole yours. I literally just stole yours. <laughs> You're lying. I'm really excited for this show. Didn't Weston saw this on in New York when yes. it was in New York, and he's like, I really want to play in Sapphire someday. Yeah, we didn't get to see it when it was in New York, so I'm excited to see it here. Yeah, so excited. Also, I love how many shows are on the West End right now. There's just a, I mean, maybe there are always this many, but I just feel like there's a ton we'll do a full of options. Yeah, should we go sit yeah. down in a hotel room and do a full room? If you're feeling techish, they serve uh, ice cream at Mrs. Doubtfire at intermission. You know, what do they call it? Intermission. Intercom. Uh, intercom. Intercom. What did you say? to someone for Intercom. Interval. 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 <laughs> but they sell ice cream. So we got ice cream. <laughs> Intercom. <laughs> Where do you go? Where do you go? just got back from Mrs. Doubtfire and I have to say, wow. What do you think? Yeah, tell me your thoughts. Like, wow, what an awesome show. There's multiple complete, um, like, transition from him to Mr. Doubt Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, the costume changes, yeah. Mo on stage. Yeah. And it's so much fun to watch. Yeah. The prosthetics and everything they have in there. I will say even, um, sorry, I, I, Overall, the story is so touching and it's yeah. so relevant to so many lives. Like about divorce, a lot of the like I think identity issues and, and shame that comes on the families when that, the kids in that too, situation. Yeah. It talks a lot about that. So I think it's a powerful story. It's not just funny, but it is also really funny. Oh my gosh. And the the lead, there's a lot on the lead to make it funny. But ours was, our lead was incredible. There was okay. I we think, didn't get a playbill. I don't know if there was playbills available. I know or I, what was going on. I, I saw somebody holding them. 
and then we walked right past him, so I don't know if we could have asked him for one. Oh, okay. But at the beginning, and I just didn't do it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The story of Mr. Mrs. Doubtfire is about a divorced couple and their three kids, um, and the dad wants custody, but he they basically is on probate, like, they're in the court systems of trying to figure this out. And in the meantime, he finds out that his his ex-wife is trying to find a nanny, so he fakes being a nanny so that he can be with his kids. And that's who Mrs. Doubtfire is. And that's who Mrs. Doubtfire But it's like the, the getting caught the comedy, the comedy of errors. The comedy of errors. Which that happens, and it's hysterical. It's so funny, and honestly, like, so charming at the same time. Yeah. Because it is obviously, like, chaos. Like, the chaos of, of that. Pam but I do him. think that, like, man, we were talking on the way home. The ensemble is fire. The, the acting in this uh, West End production is incredible. The lead Even and the and the, so the wife, yeah, the lead and the wife are just the oldest knockouts. The oldest daughter was a standout as well. Yeah, the the mom sings multiple ballads, yeah. and it's very touching. But also, the power that she effortlessly bring, brings. And I don't know who did it. We didn't have playbills, so I, so I don't know her name. Yeah, even the lead, the guy who played uh, Mrs. Doubtfire, insane, insane, like so. range. The ensemble was like incredible. There's this one guy that was just like popping, like he was floating through these turns, and I was like, triples, quads. They've got was, tap. Oh my gosh, there was tap, yeah, tap dancing. There's big Broadway numbers. There's like hip hop. There's like goofy kid television type, like old Disney yeah. Channel choreo. Which, there's Latin, yeah, uh, like a, more like a Mexican style. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Latin dancing. Yeah, maybe um, Marachi. Yeah, kind of Marachi kind of. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that would be called, but. Gosh, it was My good. Goodness. And at the end, like, there's this little TV scene, and I was I was tearing up at it because it was just so touching. Like, it's not my story. Like, it's not my experience. But I was able to, like, empathize with it. Yeah. And they did such a good job throughout the, throughout the story of showing us the pain from this specific family that when it's put into a broader spect or spectrum, it's like I can, like, empathize yeah. and, and feel with those people. It was, so really, it was really touching. a really good story and a really, really great musical. Mm-hmm. The dancing. Oh there was my so gosh. much so many dances and so many costumes. They worked their ensemble. And I think that as an ensemble member, and that's pretty much all I've ever done, it is so much fun to watch a really busy ensemble. Yeah. And they they really work so hard. And I think that was a highlight for me. Oh, for sure. Same. I think a highlight for me was the ensemble work, specifically like the tap. And it wasn't overdone. The tap wasn't overbearing. It was just very... It could have been, and I would have been fine with it, but I know. It, it wasn't. It was just very playful in the song. Yeah, I, but I, yeah, I definitely think... The uh, costumes. I, I think this, the guy that played Miss Doubtfire was a highlight for me. I Watching him perform, anytime, like, it was crazy to see him change. Like, to see the flip. Yeah. And, and, and to watch him flip his voice. Yeah. Because at the beginning, he opens with a bunch of impressions, and yeah. then he just... Ba- basically does a ton of impressions all throughout the show and you know exactly what character he's playing even if he's on the so phone good. as Mrs. Doubtfire talking as himself and you see he still looks um, like Daniel but he's it, talking yeah. as Mrs. Doubtfire it fascinating wild. it's wild to watch and it's so good uh, it kind of reminds me of like Come From Away when they flip their accents yes, really fast yeah um, and you just know exactly what character he needs to be in that moment uh, until he slips up in doing the <laughs> like the Mexican um, restaurant scene how are you doing with jet lag? I'm feeling good. Uh, yeah. It is almost... Uh, it's like 10-18. 10-18. I'm going to go upstairs and shower and go to bed. Try to get on a normal schedule. That's, yeah. that's the goal right now. I'm pretty tired. I did not sleep on the, fl- the flight. So, like, there was a couple ballads where I was, like, yeah, I really fighting to keep my eyes open. open. Yeah. My eyes were just But other than that, like, honestly, when, man, when they really hook you in with that story, that's that's a testament of a good of a good show, is that, like, even being as tired as I am and sleep-deprived as I am, that hook that they get you with, and then they really latch on and they invest the investment of the audience with the power of story. Good. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna hit the hey. We'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. night. Honestly, really surprised how I'm feeling this morning as far as like jet lag and everything. Obviously, I woke up fine at like 7.30, but I went to bed at a normal time. It was pretty hard last night, a little bit during the show, keeping my eyes open, but for the most part, I'm honestly feeling pretty good. I wonder if it'll hit me again at like 
the evening because once you've been up for so many hours, I don't know. I don't generally have too much trouble with jet lag, so fingers crossed that's the, pro the thing. It, again, is fine. Breakfast. Breakfast. Oh, that's cute. We just ate breakfast here and I didn't film anything. Honestly, that is a breakfast. It doesn't look quite right. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm just curious. <laughs> I love it. But my eyes are like, what's it's wrong? Like, <laughs> but then compared to these buildings, it's... Yeah. it's also, it's like, it stands out to you, yeah, I don't know. It's tripping my brain out a little bit, though. No, I like. I was walking past it. I was like, I gotta take a picture because it looks kind of like something out of Diagon Alley, yes. where it's like not quite crooked. It's like, but but also not quite straight. Either. Yeah, yeah. But like, but why? <laughs> oh, Luke, I have a really big chain of restaurants here. Just in case you were wondering. Yeah, where's okay. my cut? Where also, is why isn't that called Twins or something? You know, why is it because um, Paul? Paul was a better name than oh. than Luke or Twin. So it's just a better Paul. name. It's just a better name. Oh, yeah. Peaceful. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, like, this is the ruins. Like this was the original sanctuary. Oh, you're right. Cause there's the windows. Yeah. The windows on there on the inside. Yeah. I had so much coffee today already. Hot. And I'm not even mad about it. We're here at St. Paul's Cathedral. Honestly, a cup of coffee. St. Paul's Cathedral, a vibe. Get it, St. Paul's, because Paul is a better name. <laughs> <laughs> I've had it up to here with you. Oh, okay. Don't worry, we'll go, we'll go find St. Luke's. St. Luke's? Luke's. <laughs> That's a hospital. Just kidding. St. Yeah, Terrence. St. We have to find it. <laughs> Terrence. Terrence, where's St. Terrence at? I think mine's probably going to make on. Oh, a palace, more <laughs> royal, I see. Oh, okay. I believe this is a coffee plant, but it won't yield here. It's too low, and also it doesn't have long enough time to mature, but because it gets cold. But it's so cool. And either it might just be a dwarf one, but look down here. Oh, it's so cool. Doo -be -doo -be -doo. <laughs> so cute. What is this? Wow. It's like serene. Can you imagine just getting, like, coming out here with a book? Grabbing a coffee. Pumping a squat. Oh, my legs are so sore. Water feature? So in Harry Potter, just to bring everything back full circle, <laughs> this bridge falls when the Death Eaters, um, it, it does. It's it does. Just, the Death Eaters take it out. The Death Eaters take it out. <laughs> Actually, it's, not the, book. it's, it's not, not the book. It's not the book at all. It's just <laughs> the movies. <laughs> Is that at the beginning of Half-Blood Prince? No, it's a uh, Deathly Hallows. I, I don't know. I haven't watched the movies in a long time. I just read the books. I read the books over and over again. So. Jason, you. Jason, you. That's my vibe. We're gonna come back. Yeah. We'll come back. Okay, Nando's. You you just wait here. We'll be back. Jason, Why does everything make like me think of Harry wanna, Potter? Really everything. <laughs> Fruit. So many people. I love it. Oh, I just witnessed. There's one of those packed backpacks we took to Japan. Really? Oh. The packed ones? The like small ones. Yeah. Do you know the music? I think the music will help. It's left to right. No, it's not. We have to Don't end watch left to then go. We go. Yeah, that's this way. Oh, yeah. That would make that's no sense. That's inverted. <laughs> Like, no, no, no. Ted, you backed me up. Back me oh, up. yeah, sorry, I was supposed to be. That was the wrong hand. Mess it up. <laughs> sorry, working on it. That was it. That took too long. We found a spot we like better. So we had to do it one more time. Duck right. Duck right. Duck right. Yeah. Right. Right. Fall in love this season. But that really doesn't matter, baby. No. The challenge is to keep the love. Make it last forever, maybe.
That looks great, Paul. Yeah. I mean, the take looks awesome. Yeah. You can put it on auto. Yeah. Boom. There it was. freaking exposure was right. Oh, that's cool. It's not that one. I, I just like the light better. Yeah. But also, that you can see all mm -hmm. the television. Yeah, that's why I was like, pull back, pull back, because I'll just zoom in yeah. a little bit to make it closer, but. Not Harry Potter reference. Spider-Man Far From Home, right here. Tom Holland was here one time. <laughs> actually, it might have all been green screen, so actually we don't know, but he, I know he's been here before. Oh yeah, yeah, he was just on the West End, but. The gherkin building. It looks like a pickle. Wait, what is it? Yeah. It's called the gherkin. It's called the gherkin, all right. Yeah. Gherkin the gherkin. That's what I was like, I was like, I'm sure it's a cucumber, but yeah, gherkin. Well, but cucumbers are pickles, so mm -hmm. yeah. So they would actually, yeah, like have wild animals in this bit to prevent people trying to get into the tower. Like a zoo, so, yeah. but it was like wild animals. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> You touched the butt. I touched the butt. Going to the underground for the first time. <gasps> Checking off another underground. I know, so excited. First time taking the underground in London. Look at him go, look at him go. Ballet on bus tube, tram, all of them. All of them, day ticket. Uh, so go day ticket. Nine. Yeah. Do we need one through nine? Because I don't think we'll go that far out. We could probably stay one through six. Like Northwood. Oh, here, so that it goes way yeah. out there. Wow. Well, you know, you're zone six. Oh, I was zone six, yeah. yeah. So we won't need one to nine because we won't actually go that far. Yeah, yeah. Let me start again. Let okay. me see. One to ticket, day travel, one to six. Okay, so yeah, that's a little cheaper. Right? Yeah. Oh! So, then you've got this one's your receipt. That's not then, for travel, this one's. The one that's got the date on is your, is travel, your travel card. Wait, hold on. Fancy. This is just so you just go like this. Boom. <laughs> We're going to go from Cannon Street down to Westminster, so we can either get the yellow or the green line. I might also get a water. Get me one too. Excuse me, I love this packaging. Whoa. And here he is, big man. Westminster Abbey, and the bus. <laughs> Royals and stuff have gotten married here. Cool. Maybe Chaz will get married there, because he's a royal. <laughs> I am, I'm a baron. I'm a baron. baron. <laughs> <laughs> Big Ben is saying hi, but I think you missed it. No, you I should think. chime, you should do a one, two, three now. Tong, dong. Yeah, two, three. It's a two, two, two. There it is. There it goes. Two chimes, because it's two o'clock. Yeah. Why doesn't it do 14? <laughs> so this is Westminster Abbey, and you technically can visit like as a tourist between these times, but they um, all are welcome after 5 p.m. So it's like after five, like, it's fine to be in there. On Sundays though, that it's closed for worship, but you're welcome to to go to service. Oh, that's King. That's um, they're famous leaders because that's uh, Martin Luther. King, Martin Martin Luther. Luther. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, so, so I think it's like famous from around the world. Yeah, famous people from around the world. We're all standing over here, like, should we walk around? But it's like a walking path, and we're all like, oh, it's black though, so you gotta be like, because it's, you know, <laughs> looks like a road. <laughs> but it's actually just a walk path. It's a walking path. It bypasses the road. Yeah. The taxis can come here like and this. stop, this it looks me. like. This is me. Look out, cause here I come. Looking him hellish. But we never really did. Travel together. No, no. We should have known right from the start. We didn't even have to wait for the changing of the guard. It found us, you know? Yeah. We so, found it, yeah. Yeah, we, we walked up to it. The National Art Gallery. Yeah. So, obviously a lot of famous paintings in there. There used to be a Sorry. big blue uh, rooster. Uh, rooster over there. Um, 
<laughs> they just said it was the dick. In England, we call it a cock. <laughs> so <laughs> it you, was the big blue cock. The giant blue, blue cock. I'm so excited for Nando's. It's gonna be so good. And we are, it's like what, three o'clock in the afternoon? We are so excited. Let's go Nando's. Get just chicken on its own and then it'll come as like a leg or yes. you can get it like butterfly style. So it's like just the yes. breast open kind of thing. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We even are gonna try the extra, the extra hot. There's two extra hot. This is extra hot and this is extra, extra hot. Sugar and, and, and chips. Chicken and chips, chips, and hot rice. All right, I'm gonna put this extra, extra hot free free sauce on a fry, and we're gonna test it. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> All right, cheers. The first bit is not, that's gonna like slowly burning. <laughs> it's just getting worse. It's sitting. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn. We gotta try it. I mean, I'll tell you in a minute whether or not it's still is <laughs> how it's feeling. Very acidic, so it's like almost like lemony on the front end. It definitely burns. That, it's not like it burns the longer you sit on it. it yeah, it's got but some wait, heat there. This is a different one. Though. It's not just extra just, hot. This is extra, like extra hot. Oh, yeah, you gotta kind of pour it, pour it on there. Yeah, feel be a little more confident with that one. Yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Got it off. That was really good. That was they're both really good. It just has more flavor. Yeah. It's just hot. Yeah. It's made with African bird's chili. A bird's eye chili. Mm. That was good. That's good sauce. Thanks, Matt. Have a good one. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Forgot where I was. I don't know where I am. I was getting a little cold in there. Hey guys, that was so good. My nose was running. I, literally, I was just like, dripping. I could hear it starting and I was like, oh, there oh, it goes. Here it goes. It was so good. If you get a chance, what is it called? Uh, Nando's. Nando's. <laughs> so good. We're going to King's Cross. <laughs> I'm so excited. There's nine and ten. The king. They have a little shop here. That's cute. Or not. Cool, you get, like, yeah. You get a little scarf to put on. You get shoes of one. I like it. I'm not gonna wait in this line for it. Oh, they've even got like prop, like wands for you to use. That's so fun. Quick. I feel like I'd like it if, because obviously you've got platform nine and ten down here, and then three quarters there. I would have liked it if it was in between. Yeah. Like, Actually, yeah, where like, you would put the yeah. platform nine and three yeah. quarters, like it is in the book, where it says. Yeah. Right platform nine and three quarters. It's crazy how big that station is, though. Uh, we just got our tickets to Paris. We're gonna go via the train, which I'm super excited about, but that will be later on. We're not even close to that trip. We just booked it because we were here and it made might sense. As well. You know, might as well save a trip, you know what I mean? And also we had to figure it out because the thing, it charged my car twice. And then we didn't print any tickets because the kiosk kind of jacked up. So I had to go stand in the line, but the man was very nice and helped me out. Yeah, all set. Set. Not sure that wasn't necessary for this, but not at all. <laughs> that's what we're doing. Travel memoirs with Luke and Paul. <laughs> you have a little black thing in your teeth, right there. Did you see it? Uh, uh, next to it over, right there. Get it? Not quite. Yeah, pearly whites. I mean, I don't know how white they are, but here they are. He'll do it for you too. <laughs> check your teeth. Check your teeth. There you are. <laughs> he goes. He goes. Hey yo! We're going to Chinatown for lunch, dinner, whatever time of day it is, for at nighttime meals. Food, food. Have a buff, yeah. Oh, I feel like I probably should be with now. Oh, oh, you should be. Oh, 
Well, the sorting hat will take your opinion into consideration. Yeah. As Harry tells his youngest son in the end of the final Death of Hellas book. You, no matter what. Yeah. Looks so good, though. I love those. The Weasley twins. Uh, it's like a Christmas village, but oh, it's Hogwarts. That's fun. Oh, that's so fun. Don't worry, we'll see you later. I will see you soon. Just for the but not right now. Not right now. Or when we come back. I think my room is like right over here somewhere. That's it for London. On the next episode, Birmingham. Ish. Ish. First time in London? Check. We'll be back. That's it for this vlog. We'll see you in another one real soon. Don't die? Okay, bye. A special thank you to Peter, Mannix, Tony, Will, Joseph, Zoe, Matt, Joe, and Morgan. And the rest of our patrons over on Patreon for being the realest of the real ones. To join the realest of the real ones, head over to patreon.com backslash twinsauce or click the link below.